Day 15. 7.57 a.m. Jade, Jack, Danielle, Joe, Dirk, Shilpa and Cleo are in the bedroom. Ian and Jermaine are at the dining table. When Jade was going off on Shilpa, I was looking at Danielle and Joe. They were laughing. And that's what upsets me. They were laughing. I know. They're being controlled by Jade. And, they're, and, and, and it's like, it's ignorance. That's all it is, is ignorance. And Jade says she's stuck up, and she said she has, her head is so far up her ass, she can smell her own shit. That's what she told, told her, and she walked off. And so I told her. Poetic, isn't it? So I, I told her, can just go in the room. You can't control what she says. You can only control what comes out of your mouth. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's strange because it's become territorial now in, in, in this group. God, hasn't it? I noticed and that I'm, last night. I'm just speaking to both sides, just, just well, yeah, to be too. neutral, but I'm, I'm not <clears throat> going to let just things be unfair. You know, Jade is Jade. Jade has her set of beliefs and she's acting upon them. Yeah, right. Exactly. <clears throat> so in Jade's mind, she's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can't change that. I've never witnessed anything like this before. Anything. Apart from in school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You hear of um, situations where girls are kind of envious of each other and jealous and, and they... Um, sort of all of a sudden just speak their mind. And they just... And hormones are everywhere. Yeah. This place could have been full of guys and we all would have gotten along. 11.11 a.m. Danielle, Jade and Joe are in the bedroom. Shilpa, Jermaine and Dirk are in the kitchen. So you think some butts are gonna roll tonight or t tomorrow or when? I doubt it. If it's there, they It was all grab. just a head trip. It was just a grouchy, mean person trying to control a situation. <coughs> Ian has come to the diary room. How would you describe the mood in the house? <laughs> um. The mood has settled down a lot today. I think um, parties that are concerned uh, have just um, basically got on with their own thing today, which I think is completely the best thing to do, really. And they're going to keep themselves to themselves and just resign themselves to the fact that they don't get on. And I think that is the right attitude. It's really, really hard to stay neutral because I really like the girls and I really like Shilpa. And each side has their argument and they obviously believe their own truth. So I'm just trying to stay as neutral as I can. But I must say that the way that Shilpa has been treated, um, I don't really agree with. But you know what, that argument is between Shilpa and Jade and I'm not going to get involved. And I do think that the best thing to do is just uh, for them to avoid each other, which is what I think they're going to do. And we'll just get on with here, with life in here as best we can, really. You know, there are, there's people that um, agree with Shilpa, there's people that agree with Jade, and there's kind of a neutral party as well that kind of um, switch between the both. It's just a big game at the end of the day, and everybody has their own reasons for believing what they do, and I think they have every right to do that. Jade um, has Joe and Danielle, and I think um, there are people that definitely... Um, are behind Shilpa. You know, there's Jermaine that definitely backs Shilpa. There's Dirk that backs Shilpa. Cleo, I think, will back Shilpa. And myself. You know, I, I like both sides, but I would side with Shilpa. I just think that you should think before you speak. You know, you know, everybody says things that they don't mean, but once they're out there, then you can't take them back, you know. People are always very, very quick to judge and they always pick out the bad points and judge on that. I, on the other hand, pick out good points and judge on that. But <laughs> I've learnt that nice doesn't always mean good. First impressions don't count either way.
11.28 a.m. Jack, Joe and Jermaine are at the dining table. When is it going to snow? I'm waiting for the snow. It didn't snow, did it? We usually start just before Christmas, innit? Around yeah. now. Usually. We have not had it. It's not been cold. It's so enough. great. Before Christmas, it was freezing, wasn't it? It was freezing. I kept saying, oh, I reckon yeah, we'll definitely nearly, get snow. Nearly it nearly did. I love the snow. Me too. Danielle, Jade and Shilpa are in the bedroom. I don't agree with some of the things you said to Jade, and I don't agree with some of the things that Jade said to you, but... I didn't say anything to Jade. I just reacted to the things that she said to me, which I'm not. Well, and I just want you to know, Danielle, uh, I didn't have a problem with you using four cubes or the chicken stock. I didn't make them, I don't own them. All I wanted to say was, when you use chicken stock, you use it very sparingly because it's concentrated. You just require one. That was what I meant. Nothing more, nothing less. And it's great to leave my eyes, did it? Is it that glad you didn't have a time? I'm sure you applied more. <laughs> <laughs> Ian. What have we got on steady? Browns, beiges and blues. Maybe a bit of blue. Or green, I've got that. I'm just so good at this. <laughs> Russians, I'm going to have to invest in these. to uh, just take a little mm, bit off. Let's start again. <laughs> yes, maybe just a little bit more green there and then green on that side. I'm just sad to show up here. I said I don't agree with some of the things she said to Jade last night. And she said I never said anything to Jade. I went to... Ow. And obviously she did. I, I can't remember that, but obviously she did say to you that she, you needed elocution lessons, didn't you? Needed elocution lessons and my yeah. counter fame was arguing with her. Oh, yeah, that's what she said. And I did hear her say that. Uh, and I just thought, I'm not going to bother. It just lies. I never said anything to Jade. That's probably what she told Dirk and Jermaine. I don't know. I don't even know why I even bothered fucking saying something to her. But I, I don't agree with what she said to you last night. That's fucking bang out of order, because I'm common as well. I'm common. I need elocution lesson. <laughs> and my claim to fame is arguing with her. Oh, yeah. Because she'll put whoever you are. I don't know if I can say her name. She'll put Bacharada. It's just the most important person I've ever seen in my life. I've met some legends. They're my claim to fame. My claim to fame is meeting some of your jacks on an aeroplane and tapping him on his knee. And him knowing who I am. Oh, Jay Goody. Ah. I read about you all the time when I'm in England. I was like, oh. And Kate Moss talking to me on an airplane. That's my claim to fame. Kate Moss inviting me back to her house for a party. That's my claim to fame. Not Shilpa Darupa. Is that what her name is? I don't know what her name is, but particularly, I'm not really clear. Oh, I said last night, Shilpa Papa Dem or something. <laughs> Twelve forty three PM Big Brother has gathered housemates in the lounge for this week's nominations. Each week, housemates must nominate two people for eviction. The two or more housemates with the most nominations will face a public vote. Housemates are called to the diary room in alphabetical order. Hello, Mr. 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 Hello, Mr.
Cleo is the first housemate to nominate. Yes. <coughs> yeah, it's like a prison. But it looks so easy on TV. Pardon? Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <He's there. laughs> Cleo, please could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Not really, if the truth be known. Um, but uh, for the harmony in the house, I have to choose these two people to be fair on everyone else. And the first person that I have to choose is Shilpa. She's not happy. Reads the last few days. She's been very down. And not just down in a bad mood, down from inside. You see her eyes have gone not so happy anymore. Uh, the arguments that have been taking place have been upsetting and have split the house in different directions and brought a very big down feeling uh, on everything. Now could you give the name of your second nomination? and explain your reasons for this nomination. My second nomination is Jade. I'm trying to bring or allow things to flow easier without uh, so much tension and so much misunderstanding between people and the escalation of situations that are upsetting A lot of people beyond the point where they can just say, oh, well, that was just an argument or that was just something. It, 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 it's had a, a much deeper impact. Thank you, Cleo. You may now leave the diary room. Thank you, big brother. I learned to sing congratulations in Swedish when I was on holiday. She comes. Here's our baby. Oh, the door, the door, the door. Cheers. Cheers. You okay, Cleo? Oh, Cleo, yeah. okay. Let me just get by. Cheers. <clears throat> you okay? Can't have a seat, yeah. lovely. You look beautiful. It's right. It isn't easy for anybody, but some people it affects more, you know, I think. It doesn't matter, Cleo. No one's going to hold anything against you. No. This is Big Brother. Would Danielle come to the diary room? Go on, get it over with them. Let me take this it's all good. Well, oh. there's something in the air. Hello, Big Brother. My first nomination is Shilpa. I think she's a really nice and she's trying very hard to fit in with the rest of the group and she does do a lot for us but sometimes I find her very controlling because she gets on with Jermaine really well they've got something in common so she always seems to be with Jermaine so she doesn't really get involved in much of like the games we play and when at night when I'm playing like silly drinking games and stuff she can't get involved in them because she doesn't drink. She is the person that I'm getting on with the least. Now could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? I'm going to have to nominate Dick because I find him very confusing because one minute he can be really, really happy and you can be having a laugh and chatting with him and he can be really funny and then the next minute he can just like turn and like after the argument last night he gave me a really really funny look and I just and then this morning he just woke up and he was just being dead normal really normal I don't really know how to take him I think he's really got a split personality can't see anyone more than that she's you right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> He's working. Don't worry, lovely. It's got to be done. Mm. I think I want to sleep. This is Big Brother. Would a Dirk come to the diary room? 
Have a good one. He'd be out the fastest. Do you think? Yeah. He's so disconnected. <laughs> Hello, Dirk. Hi. My first nomination is Jade. I can't understand a word she says, and it's very, 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 very exhausting. And her voice carries, so she I hear her talking, but I don't know what she's saying. Don't have a clue. And B, she's a disruptive person. She likes turmoil, and she's got a lot of issues. She's got more issues than the Democratic Party in America. And she goes after people, gets people separated. Got poisons, poisons the air. She's been after Shilpa since day one. I've worked with actors like this. She likes things upset. But I think we've had enough of it now. My second nomination is Jermaine. He's getting close to the end of his ability to deal with this. This, is, this behavior is so crude. And because he's in so much pain, he looks for me to help him. The selfish reason is, is that it's make it, it'll make it easier for me. A lot, a lot, a lot easier. So far, Dirk and Jermaine have one nomination each. Jade and Shilpa have two nominations each. So it's it's right. very warm. It's not unbearable. Diary. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was hot on that. Did you? Yeah. I was getting moist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dirk. 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 Damp Dirk. Damp. Damp Dirk. <laughs> Damp Dirk. <laughs> Ian is next to the diary room. <clears throat> My first nomination is going to be Danielle. Some of the things that she said and the way she's acted towards Shilpa is just unacceptable. And I feel that's really had a bad knock-on effect throughout the group. She's very naive, she's very young, she's a lovely girl, but she is um, heavily influenced, one, by drink, and by other members of uh, the group as well. Jade heavily influences Danielle and the way she thinks. She may not know it, but, you know, for onlookers, you can really see the change. I believe she's following and being influenced when she should be able to make the decision herself. My second nomination will be for Jade. The whole dynamic of this house changed when Jade stepped through the door. The, the things that she said towards Shilpa and the way she treats her and the way she acts towards her has just been, in my book, abysmal. There's something about Shilpa that threatens Jade, and I don't know what it is. I don't think of Shilpa as a Bollywood movie star, she's just another person. And as far as I'm concerned, she's not acted that way at all, so Jade's um, argument is completely not justified. How long do you think more? Oh, a long, long way. I'm so tense, I can't bear it. The fog is hot in there. Oh. <clears throat> I feel like I'm telling tales with the headmaster. And we're all in detention. God. Did you just get in trouble at school, Ian? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was never in trouble at school. Weren't you? Weren't you? See, I imagine you to be. No. I, I was, imagine you to be a buff. I was a real good kid. Just went wrong when I ate 25. <laughs> Jack is the next housemate to nominate. Hello, Jack. Hello. My first nomination is going to be Shilpa because I think she's not acting herself in this. She's very fake. Like when I'm sitting there in the room, just three people, she'd whisper to someone and then start laughing. And then, like, the next minute, she'd be cuddling you and stuff like that. It just makes you feel uncomfortable. I don't really care if she's talking about me, but she can talk about me to her face, to my face. Not whispering. 
the argument when she's going, you need elocution lessons or whatever that means. That dickhead. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Uh, it's going to be Dirk, because when he had a little drink the other day, he does that stupid things, which I think he regretted and all. He's selfish with things. And because he didn't want to give up his whiskey, he just poured his in the bin and chucked it away. I think that's just pathetic that he'd done that. He should have just drank the bottle. Half is better than nothing. It's pathetic to chuck it away. Jermaine. Every oh. single night she gets into bed, she farts. And she smells and Jermaine. Stinks. Don't believe no, Jermaine. No, I promise don't believe. The other day, we was outside, she had her dressing gown on, and she smelled so oh, bad, yeah. you no, could no, smell no, it, no. and she was denying it, so it's disgusting. Jermaine, I would promise that. you, she's got a pretty little face, but her bum's vile. Uh -uh. I know, Ooh. I smelled it last They're night. It, up, it was right? bad. Ooh. Right, mate. He's a better one, him, isn't he? Where's that? You had to tell any of your... This is Big Brother. Would Jade come to the diary room? Instead of the parrot. Instead of the parrot. Hello, Big Brother. My first nomination is Shilpa. The other day I had a full-blown argument with her and within that argument I was told that I was, uh, I needed elocution lessons, I was common, and my only claim to fame was talking to her. Like, this was my claim to fame. And yes, Big Brother did make me, but how dare she? <laughs> I've done so much with my life, and I've achieved so much that I'm so proud of, so to be told that my fame to claim is meeting a Bollywood actress that I never knew anything about in the first place, I'm sorry. And then she, she was like, oh, it's, she's just common. And then she got Jermaine in there for God knows how long and was talking to him. And I just don't like the way that she divides the group up by doing that. I had an argument with her, mine and her argument. And I even said to Danielle and Joe, please don't feel like you've got to sit here with me because you haven't. If you want to go and still put you short, you can. Because that's the way I am. My argument was with her, not with anybody else. I don't like her, really. I don't like her at all. And I used two Oxo cubes, so what? What are you up to behind there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, dear. Oh, God. It's awake. <laughs> it's a topsy turvy world. I need to weep. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and oh. explain your reasons for this nomination? I'm going to say Dirk, and my reason for Dirk. Oh, do I want to say My reason for Dirk <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when the argument kicked off last night, I was getting dirty looks. The argument was between me and Shilpa, but I felt that it was between me, Shilpa and Dirk. There was no need to be ignored or given dirty looks to from Dirk. And that's just probably he did that because he, he probably values Shilpa's friendship more than mine. Danielle and Jermaine have one nomination each. Dirk and Jade both have three nominations and Shilpa has four nominations. <sighs> Very hot. You get sweat pits. There's a few puddles around the chair. Mm -hmm. I'm sweating. Yeah. Jermaine is next to nominate. Oh, he's a good man. He's such a nice man. This is a hard thing for him to do. Hello, Jermaine. Hello. My first nomination is Jade. It's, it's too tense. It's too tense. I'm having to sort of break up dis disputes and... That's not what I'm here for, but I just can't stand the controversy. And it's because of Jade, pretty much. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Joe. 
she's smarter than what she's leading on to be and to be a follower of Jade's is is it's just not good. She's not the the same person that I met when I first came in this house. Right. You red, 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 yeah. Who says it's raining men? It's coming out of ginger. Ginger. Let's get some water. Anybody want some water? Oh, yeah. Please. Yeah. Any, anybody else for water? Yeah, please. Two waters. Three waters. Oh, I'd love some pork, actually. This is Big Brother. Would Joe come to the diary room? <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> the first person I'm going to nominate is Shilpa. I just don't think she's genuine, that's all. I think she's playing a very good game. And uh, I would like to see the real, real Shilpa. Not the one that's in here. The second person I want to nominate is Dirk. He is very Jekyll and Hyde. One day he's very bouncy, he's very, uh, you know, funny. But he can get in a bad mood like that. He can switch and get in a temper over silly things. And when Dirk's in a temper, I don't really like that very much. With five nominations, Shilpa will definitely face a public vote. That was quick. You're not crying, love. Well done. Oh, okay. Shilpa is the final housemate to nominate. My first nomination, my first obvious nomination would be Jade. I think purely for the reason that I find her ex extremely loud, argumentative and... Um, rude. Jade is someone who has been through a hard life. I understand. I empathize with her on that account, but that doesn't mean that she makes me feel uh, apologetic about the way I'm brought up. And she just waits for an opportunity to pounce on me. We, we had a row over chicken cubes. I mean, how petty is that? She just pounced on me and she called me so many names. And I've never been spoken to like that. Never in my life. But there were a lot of undignified things she said to me, which was really in very bad taste. And, uh, and there honestly wasn't any reason for, for her to go on and on like that. That's it. My second nomination it would have to be Jack. I think it, it's uh, a prerequisite to be a celebrity on a celebrity show. And uh, he's here because of Jade. And uh, that for me is reason enough to nominate him because I think he still has a long way to go and he's very young. Secondly, I really don't go out of my way to talk to him and neither does he. He can see the incompatibility between Jade and me so maybe he doesn't make the effort. He's very clear about where his loyalties stand, and I respect that. So it's, it's cool with me. Danielle, Jack, Jermaine and Joe have one nomination each. Dirk has four nominations. As Shilpa and Jade have five nominations each, they'll both face eviction this week. Ian and Cleo are the only housemates to receive no nominations. <laughs> Three forty-three p.m. Most of the housemates are in the kitchen. Cleo, Shilpa, and Jermaine are in the bedroom. What is it? Nothing. I just just um. I want you to be prepared to hear my name. Hmm? Okay. And if I go, I just want to know. I'm really, really miss you. Okay. 
Then we have in a moment of cuddling. My nose is so dry and all. I'm like a big flake. Guys, can I say something to everyone? Um, what we were just asked to do is really not who we are. It's really not what we are. No. But it's part of this game. I feel that everybody here has love in, in their hearts. And I feel that everybody has a certain thing that ticks them off. But at the same time, we're all human. We're all human. And also, um, we've all experienced pain. We've, we've all seen things and seen hurt and despair that we want to do something about it, but you just can't. You just can't because it's beyond your reach. It's beyond your ability. But in here, we can do something about the pain that they're trying to cause us to inflict on each other. So I'm, I'm just saying that what we had to say was for their own good, was for their good, but at the same time, we love each other. We started out. The conditions in which we're put upon causes us, causes things to take each other off. But at the same time, when I'm gone, I'm going to miss everybody, really, because my love is real. It is, it is, I'm one way. So I, I just wanted to say that. Really. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Five twenty four PM Big Brother has gathered all the housemates at the dining table and given Cleo instructions for today's task. The housemates must divide into three groups and create a work of modern art which represents an emotion they've felt since entering the Big Brother house. The housemates have 90 minutes to complete the task before presenting their artwork to the group. This is Big Brother. Mm. Housemates must now divide into their groups of three. <laughs> How many of us are there? Nine. You have to be in. I, I really don't mind. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. mind. I so. End over here, but I don't mind. Whatever. Oh, do you know what, guys? Do you know what? To show really good willing, why don't we mix it all up and not do obvious groups? How why don't that? we put a stack of our own each into something and then pull it out like we yeah. round it? Yeah, because let's not do them and us. Let's just mix it up okay. and be friends, yeah? Yeah. Good, good, right. Let's go. Into oh. oh, we could do short stick long. Let's drop. Oh, yeah. Short stick long. Put all those sticks. Yeah. 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 I'd just like to be here. Uh, I'll be the Jermaine, whoever else wants to join me. I'm just trying to make don't... it fair. No, no, it's it's cool. I just... I, I, I don't want just kept to... It the way I don't want to create any more trouble. You know, you have to understand that. Let's just keep it the way it is. Let's just keep it the way it is. It's sweet, it's sweet, but I don't no, want let's... to... I mean, even if I'm leaving tomorrow, I don't want another lift, please. I can't take it. Where's the lotion? I can't get to it. I'll tell you what, let's go and talk to everybody in here. Yes. We should just... I'm petrified. I've never been so petrified in my life. Everyone's an adult. I'm sure we can... Uh... Yeah. Some people didn't behave like some, you know? I'll uh, go with Jay's and Jack. Okay, let's... No, babe, go in with Shilpa. Honest. <laughs> I'm going with Jay's and Jack. Okay, this, okay. And we'll sort our groups out in here. <laughs> Silly. Oh, the words I want to say. I've just been out there. Oh, she doesn't. I wouldn't have made it like that. But like, do you want to? Do you I want to want go with. Yeah, I don't want to end up with. Me and you and who? I don't mind. Who's ever going spare? <laughs> Listen. Okay, let's get in our huddle. Okay, what's the idea? Let's just throw okay, the idea. Really this bad, is the idea. Don't. There. Listen. Yes. I know, but I was just trying to make people... Let's no, see. you can't but make people... This is the idea. I'm sure she does. I tried that with the talk yeah. and it didn't work. Listen, 
let's try this. Okay, we have to draw something that sort of represents what, what's been going on in here, right? Pretty, pretty, Modern pretty much weather is good. One minute, what is it supposed to be? Is it supposed Modern to be just is a, a representation. Is it a, okay, is it let's do this. Modern art can be anything. It can be sound, it can let's be light. Do, let's do, yeah. let's do a... Um, Where's Doug? Who are you with? Hmm? Who are you with? I thought we were putting something in a thing. And no, um, no, no, it's, don't, it's, don't, no, don't, don't. It's going to be easier, right. We've decided we're going to work together. Okay. Let's yeah, do a roller coaster. Whatever. And, and at the high point, we got kids on it laughing to me, and at the bottom, they're like really down and sad. So okay. up here, we have sunshine and everything, and down here is like rain and, and sadness and dreariness. So it'll be ups and downs. It'll be ups and downs. Seven seventeen p.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates in the lounge to begin the unveiling of their works of modern art. On three, one, two, three. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> well, uh, this just explains the strength of, that all of us feel we have and we've tried to show in, in every situation, um, even in times where we were really, really distressed and... We were? Uh, yeah, Correct. whatever. <laughs> and this just uh, doesn't just denote uh, strength in terms of uh, muscle or physical strength, but also strength of character. And heart. And heart. That I was looking for you. <laughs> There's a very simple idea that's good. It's the barbells, the dumbbells. I put those! It's really good. It's so <laughs> neat. <laughs> so it makes it quite modern. No, it's like, boom. It kind of a good group effort. Yeah. So, and we work well together. Very good. Yeah. Okay, good. Very well done. Thank you. Can we go home now? <laughs> this is Big Brother. Would all housemates gather by Danielle, Jack, and Jade's work of no. modern art? <laughs> Down the hall. Right. I guess we have to stand behind this line. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> You talk about the motion of our group is merry and beyond. Um, we put merry and beyond because we find when the house is down, we always ask for booze. So we try and merry ourselves up. It's half and half because the group's full of men and women. And this oh, is yeah. this is a hanger because this stands for the hangover. next day when we have a hangover. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 This. It's the sick bag, which sometimes when you can get a little bit messy. <laughs> Very good. We thought, we thought we'd brighten all of the floor up. Yeah, and we thought, thought we'd use pipe clouds to cheer oh, everybody off. Oh, oh, nice. Very nice. Very, nice. Very, nice. Very, nice. Very, good. Nine nineteen pm. Shilpa is teaching Jermaine an Urdu phrase to say to his wife. What is it that you want to tell her? Mm. I really miss you a lot, or I really love you a lot. She, 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 what did that she, say she already know that. Uh, yeah, but you know, Urdu is a very romantic language. I really miss you a lot. Mm. Missed you a lot? Yeah. We have Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Why? No. That, that didn't even start out right. Hum. Hum. Ne. Ne. Aapko. Aapko. Bohat. Bohat. Yad. Yad. Kya. 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 I won't be saying that. <laughs> Big Brother has called Joe to the diary room. Do you feel there is any tension between housemates in the house? I feel that there's tension with Shilpa, um, with Jade and Shilpa especially, because of the argument that they had yesterday. What are your feelings about the argument? It wasn't my argument, so it's not really affected me at all, really. It's a shame, it's never nice, but I think that 
Jade was right in what she was saying. And I think she said some things she probably said in temper. But then everybody says stuff in temper. Um, and I think that Shilpa overreacted. And I think that Shilpa said some not very nice things to Jade. Did you have no role in it whatsoever? Well, no. I was just listening to it. I weren't involved in it in any way. It always looks so different on TV. <laughs> Nine forty three PM Jack, Jade, Danielle and Joe are in the living area. All of the other housemates are in the garden. Ian, Cleo and Shilpa are talking about Jade. And uh, you know I actually thought about it, um, Cleo. I know it's not a racist thing. I, I thought about it for a long time. It's not racist. You know, people say things in anger. Um, maybe I said it. No. Uh, she's she's not racist. I agree, but no, she's, she's definitely. Um, she can't be racist because she's she, mixed race anyway. She's she's she tries to challenge me. She tries to challenge my beliefs. You it's two like definitely she, clash. There's no 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 way around that. Every time I try to keep quiet on that whole mm. issue in the lounge, I try to evade it and I try to say something. You know, I'm not a prude. No, I know. Yeah. <coughs> I've had relationships, I've, but there are certain aspects of my life that I don't want to make public. And that's my choice. It's my prerogative. Your prerogative, absolutely. But that doesn't mean that I'm boring or I'm a prude. So you have to respect that and accept that if you really want to make a change and if you want to form a bond or a relationship. <coughs> yeah. um, every time I've spoken about her, I said, I've said, you know what, with due respect to her, I empathize with the fact that she has had her heart, you know, she's had a hard life. That's all I can do. But you can't blame other people if they've had good lives. I've had my fair share of struggle. We've been through our days where we've, I haven't seen my parents, you know, because they were, so, they were so busy working hard to set up their business. So it's not like I was born with a golden spoon in my mouth. And you know, if she didn't, if she wouldn't have sworn, and if she didn't say all those things, I, I would have taken that first step and gone up to her and said, you know, just forget it. It's just <clears throat> such a small thing. I think Jade just needed to let loose, and you were there. You can't make a scapegoat out of someone just because you want to hit headlines. I'm sorry. It's not fair. You two will definitely be headlines. <laughs> it's so bad, you know. Please. <laughs> I just don't want You don't feel to intimidated get... at all, though? You me? Just, you... I don't get intimidated by her. No. She feels intimidated by me, and I don't want to get... I don't that's what that. I think it is. Ten fifteen pm Jack, Joe, Danielle and Ian are in the lounge. Go on, have a fight. Should we have a fight, Jack, me and you? No, actually, no, it's not to that. Because I just have to scram your eyes. <laughs> Bitch slap you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fight, I'm crap. Once I, tell you, once I had a fight, I tell you. And I literally, this guy who's coming to me, and I, there was nowhere for me to go. And I literally, I, I went, <laughs> <laughs> And I looked around, and he was on the floor. And show me what you did. I got it, man. Big Brother has called Jade to the diary room. <sighs> Good evening, Big Brother. Hello, Jade. Hi. How are you today? <laughs> Fine, thank you. Jade, earlier today, in a conversation with Danielle, Big Brother heard you refer to Shilpa as Shilpa Fakawala. What? Shilpa Darupa and Shilpa Popper Doom. Yeah, because I couldn't think of her surname. And I was like, I don't know who she is. Why would my family can be talking to someone like that? I don't even know what her surname is. What is it? Shilpa Quokamada, Shilpa whatever, Rokamada, and Shilpa Popper Doom. It was just like that, literally like that, just come out like that. Jade, why did you refer to her in this way, and do you think it's acceptable? 
She'll put poppy term. I'll explain why I referred to her like that. But for the other two, I don't know what I actually said. It was just try to get a name out. It obviously ain't. Her name's not Shilpa. Shilpa Harry, is it? Or Shilpa. Or Shilpa. Or Shilpa. Tweed. Or Shilpa. Think of another surname. Or Shilpa. Macintosh, it isn't because she's Indian, so she's obviously going to have her name Shilpa, so she's obviously going to have an Indian name. There was no fault or no racial anything meant in any of those comments. It's not in me to be racial about somebody or to somebody because that's I wouldn't. It was just as in a tongue in cheek Shilpa Poppism. It wasn't, it wasn't, and if it's offended any Indians out there, I apologize. But everyone knows I don't like her, she knows I don't like her. She knows why I don't like her, and I know that she don't like me, and I know why she don't like me. But what I said about her was not meant in a racial way or in any other way to offend anybody. So, no, it's not acceptable if it was done in that way. But mine wasn't done in that way. Mine wasn't even thought of in that way at all, and I promise you that. 11th <laughs> p.m. Most of the housemates are asleep in the bedroom. Danielle and Joe are at the dining table. Chilpa's not a bad person. She means well, but she is very controlling. Very controlling. I just don't like getting told what to do, ever. That just really pisses me off. But she does mean well. Yeah, she does. And I, it's and just it's completely different cultures and different exactly. ways of living and different yeah. mannerisms. I mean, <clears throat> we're 11 strangers thrown in really close house. Yeah. Which is, it's a good size, but it's small. Yeah. For the amount of people you can't get away get anyway. away ever. No. And even if you like, you do try and have a little bit of space. You can't, not because people walk in. It's like, if you go and sit on the hot seat outside so on your own, somebody will come over and sit with you. Yeah. Yeah, and it must be harder for her because she's coming here, away That's from like her country. That's like going over to India with a load of Indian celebrities that we've never seen. Uh-huh. And getting on with it. It's like... It's like a big, massive celebrity from here yeah, going over to India and none of them knowing who she is or whatever. Mm. But then again, I do think, I don't, I don't know sometimes whether Shilpa's being herself or she's not. But I, but I don't think we'll ever find out. No, I don't. So, it's just hard, it's just really hard and um, obviously me you and Jade are young girls and we've got the same sort of like, yeah we all live on the same sort of area we go yeah. to the same places yeah that's why we just get on and it's it's just we're not we're not doing it to leave it out or be spiteful or be fucking bitches or whatever 